Hello there. Today we're going to talk about the MySQL data type part two, which is string, text, date, and time. So first data is string data type is called char, which is going to store the fixed length of the data. If you know like zip code or postal code, if you know the uh, length of the st uh, string, we can define as a char. The next one, the worker, which is the variable length, store the max 65,535 characters. So if you like to store oh, length, yeah. the like name, address, then better to use the worker. Then the medium text, which is going to store up to 16 megabytes, which is JSON and CSV strings we can store. Then the long text, we are going to up to store up to 4 gigabyte, the log file, textbooks. Then we do have tiny text, which is 255 bytes. Then text, which is same as a worker, which is going to store 65,535 characters. Oh. The last one is also MySQL support the international languages like English, then Korean, then Middle East, and but it takes different bytes so we'll see that one and the syntax is the show character sets in the mysql workbench it will display all the languages and the bytes if you're new to the channel and if you'd like to know more about mysql please subscribe to the channel and click the bell icon for the notification okay let's get started let's go to the mysql workbench so i'm going to use the the data type as text and going to create a table so text data type which is going to store 65,000 and 535 characters so let's create a table then we we'll like to insert the data and see how it's behaving so before that I'm going to use the e-commerce database so to use the e-commerce database what is the syntax that's correct let's use e-commerce and execute is command enter so it's executed you could see here successfully now i'm going to create a table so before creating the table if you like to know more about mysql workbench how to import database we have existing video i'll put link in the description so here i'm going to create a table is a temp if uh, the first line number three talks about drop table if it exists so it's going to drop the table if it already exists then it's going to create a table where is the id int name worker 64 then the introduction is text so we are going to store the lengthy text you could see here hello there i'm new to mysql is total text is going to store from here to till here learning keep learning so it's going to store this so let's execute the whole syntax line number three four five together command is command shift enter so now you see it's executed successfully and it says one row effector here so i need to do select star from table so to see the data to execute this again command enter so now you could see here this is executed the data are here so you could see the id storing here the name is storing here and and this one is the huge text is going to store here so this way you can use the string data data type and based on your requirement you can use those data type and design your table and insert the data date and time data type is very important to the mysql because you're going to do store the data and you will do the indexing of the data it's very so like inserted dtm or updated dtm you can do the indexing and it will uh, fetch the data faster we'll talk up later about what is index how to use in the table so first data type is a date uh, the format is yymmdd this is the example the next is time with the hour minute second example then date and time date time this is the example then timestamp is going to store this format and the example is like this then the year which you can store yy or four ways yyyy -Y -Y -Y. and this is the example so now let's see the practical what is the difference between this date time and the timestamp because you could see date time the timestamp here up to 2037 you can store the data now so this is very important to know so now let's go to um, mysql workbench i'm going to create a table then i'll insert the data with the timestamp so before and that i would like to know the system times there are some of the function which is there already so which is select if you do select now it's gonna do display the system time so I execute this so this is the current time of my system 12 am 18 minute and 0 seconds so now if i would like to see the variable of the time zone so what you need to do the syntax is show variable like time underscore zone so 
and if you execute its variables so now if I execute this now you could see it said PDT is a specific time zone so this is the time is displaying for me so now if I like to uh, set to the UTC time zone you could do that so the syntax would be set time underscore zone equals to plus zero zero colon zero zero and now if you execute this and it's going to set the time zone now if I do set time now you could see the difference here the time is different so now if you like to again set back to a system time so what you need to do just in type system here now if you execute again then execute the select now just come back to the system time zone so these are some basic um, syntax for the time date and time you could use on your daily um, mysql practices so now let's uh, create a table okay so i'm going to create a table is a time data and we're going to do insert uh, with the three columns id time stamp is a timestamp name so these are three three columns we're going to create so let's create the table first so if i want to execute this select everything and command set enter or oh, first i need to drop the table so let's execute everything so now table is created now if you do refresh here now you could see the time data table has been created that's good now let's insert the data so i'm going to insert this four data into this time uh, data table so execute is command shift enter at a time so you could see all four rows has been uh, affected so you could see here four rows has been affected so now if i do select star from time data and execute so now you could see here time the stamp is null so to fix this what we need to do instead of time stamp so instead of time stamp we need, we need to use date time default current time stamp so now if you do again execute everything from here to till here so it should work so now you could see timestamp is displaying here correctly and all the data everything is fine so this is one drawback while defining your data so this is all about date and time so please practice and let me know if you have any queries if this video is useful to you don't forget to like comment and subscribe it means a lot to me thank you